Hi, welcome back to CBSC Board Economics. We welcome you all. I'm Sadam Hussain here. In class 12, Indian Economic Development, Unit 7, Infrastructure. Today in this video, we're discussing about energy. Now, today in this video, we'll be talking about the significance of energy. What is the importance of energy? Energy can be anything. It can be hydropower projects, it can be thermal, it can be nuclear energy. Without energy, the wheels of the economy will come to a stop. How does energy help? That's what we are discussing it today. And different kinds of energy we'll discuss in the next video, conventional energy, non-conventional, thermal, hydro and all. Now in this short video, we'll be discussing about significance of energy. So you can see here, energy is an important input for most of the production process and consumption activities. Energy is important. Without energy, I just told you, the wheels of the economy will come to a halt. Energy is so important in industry. Without energy, the industrial production cannot take place. Industries will come to a standstill. Even nowadays, without energy, agriculture cannot prosper. Because without energy, the farmers will not be able to take out the water through their bore wells. Without energy, you cannot produce fertilizers. Without energy, you cannot produce insecticides. So even for the development of the agriculture sector, energy is very crucial. So we see here, the first sentence, energy is an important input for most of the production process and even consumption activities. Without energy, we cannot have households. Consumption is very important. It plays a crucial role in the development of an economy. How does it help it? The first point we can divide in three points. There exists a positive correlation between economic growth and demand for energy. Obviously, the more the economy develops, the more demand for energy. Because without energy, I just told you, we cannot have industrial units. If you want to develop industrial economy, we need energy. And the second point you have, in India, energy is used as a large scale in agriculture. I just told you, in agriculture also used large scale. Uh, olden times, they used to do without energy. But these days, without energy, even the agriculture production takes, won't take place. And related areas such as production in the factories, transportation of fertilizers from the factories to the farmers, pesticides and farm equipment. Without energy, we won't be able to transport them. Energy is required in houses for cooking, household lighting, and heating. That's it. The most prior importance is energy. Without energy, the economy can develop. Now we'll read in perspective what exactly is there. So these points will flashing on your video. Please jot it down in a separate piece of paper or note down in a notebook and memorize what is the significance of energy in the next video we'll be discussing about differentiate between commercial and non-commercial sources of energy energy is an important input for most of the production processes and consumption activities it plays a crucial role in the development of an economy there exists a positive correlation which I told you just now between economic growth and demand for energy. It happens because growth in an, is an index of increasing production productivity activity. Growth is an index of, uh, index of increasing productive activities which requires large quantity of energy. And the B point you can see here in India energy is used on a large scale in agriculture and related areas like production and transportation of fertilizers, pesticides and farm equipment. Energy is required for houses for cooking, household lighting and heating. So these are the three important points for the importance of energy and what role it plays. So that's it. We have time for this short video. Till we meet next time, it's goodbye from Saddam Hussein. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like our videos. And best of luck for your board exams. Time is very crucial. Time is running out. Try to make the best use of it. Bye-bye guys.